Good evening, West Michigan. We have had rain falling all across the area today, and it really did accumulate. Grand Junction received a report of 1.4 inches of rainfall. Springfield right behind it at 1.01 inches, and Portage at right an inch of rainfall just within the last 24 hours, and rain continues to fall across the area. You might be wondering kind of where we're lining up headed into the spring season. Our drought monitor is updated every Thursday. As of right now, we're in that normal zone. As for the rain that that's moving through for today and we have more rain in store for this upcoming Friday. This is going to be great for our crops and for our flowers. I know that they're just drinking up all of this water. The unfortunate news is that we could see some minor flooding if the rain gets a little bit too much. So something that we'll be closely monitoring for you and of course updating you as we do progress. Taking a look now at our satellite and radar, you can see that low pressure system that's lining up expected to bring a little bit more rain sweeping through West Michigan for the next couple of hours as the rain is lining up from Cadillac through Milwaukee. That's going to be really sweeping through West Michigan. As we take a look down towards northern Ohio, there is a severe thunderstorm warning and a tornado warning associated with that line. We are not expected to see any severe weather here in West Michigan, but we could have a rumble of thunder or two. As of right now, a closer look at our live radar network showing light steady rain showers falling over Big Rapids, Howard City, and Nuego. A few light sprinkles over downtown Grand Rapids extending through parts of Holland and Saugatuck, which Ryer Scott extending through parts of Pawpaw, Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, mainly dry right now along I-94, but you might run into a few sprinkles there as well. As we take a look across West Michigan, we're holding on to that cloud cover. It's a perfect dreary Tuesday to hang indoors, watch a good movie, maybe just binge watch Fox 17 all day. We're going to take a look at those temperatures, mainly in the lower 50s, 53 degrees in Kalamazoo, 52 in Muskegon and 48 degrees, a cooler spot in Benton Harbor with temperatures and rather winds really steady steady from the northeast between 5 to about 15 miles per hour. Our evening planner shows temperatures dropping to the upper 40s with persistent light rain coming to a close after 11 p.m. And temperatures tonight will be dropping to 40 degrees in Grand Rapids, 44 in Kalamazoo and 42 degrees in South Haven and Holland. Our future track shows the rain coming to a close just before midnight and eventually mostly cloudy skies to start off here Wednesday. But don't worry, the cloud cover is going to decrease throughout the day, becoming mostly sunny for the late afternoon and evening. This is a perfect forecast to go for a walk, maybe even a bike ride because temperatures are going to be in the lower 60s tomorrow. A really nice spring day finally here in West Michigan. As for your Thursday, the cloud cover will increase all thanks to an approaching system. A light sprinkle or two is possible late Thursday night, but the majority of rain is actually going to be here all day on Friday, producing another round of heavy rainfall. Of course, we did just see that most locations had up to about an inch of rainfall in some spots. Another inch of rain is going to be possible closer towards I-94 on Friday. Now, when it comes to those temperatures, we are going to be technically below average this week. The average temperature is about 65 degrees. But as we get into next week, Monday and Tuesday, that heat, it's surely going to be here. We are tracking the high temperatures in the 70s to lower 80s. This upcoming Monday and Tuesday, mostly sunny skies and a really nice Mother Day, Mother's Day weekend forecast. Any rain that's going to be there on Saturday is mainly going to be in the morning. Dry skies for the afternoon, partly cloudy skies for Mother's Day with a high temperature of 67 degrees.